الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه الله من بعد من نظر شيخ دكتور عبد الله عبد الرحمن الميسان في رضا الله started by mentioning saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us with a great command with a very important command and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praise those who fulfill this command and those who obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in regards to this command Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayat preserve the prayers in the middle prayer of Asr and stand for Allah in worship and in silence and so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us with this great command and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praise those who fulfill this command and obey him subhanahu wa ta'ala in that command Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayat, they have succeeded, the believers have succeeded, those who are who find tranquility in their prayer. Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayat, He has in the meaning of the ayat, He has succeeded. He has succeeded one who purifies himself and mentions Allah and then he prays. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised in the Quran one who fulfills this command and one who preserves his prayers and one who finds tranquility in his prayer and one who one who performs the prayer and so and one who preserves his prayers and likewise the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he mentioned in regards to the importance of the prayer the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said in the meaning of the hadith that the first thing that one is questioned about from the actions on the day of judgment is the prayer and if it is upright and correct then the rest of his actions will be upright and will be correct. And if it is corrupted and the one, one has, was negligent of it, then the rest of one's actions will be corrupted and will be destroyed. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us with this great command. And likewise, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa told us about the importance of the prayer. And from that, is that which the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa told us about the importance of the Fajr prayer? The morning prayer or the dawn prayer, the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he mentioned in the meaning of the hadith that whomsoever prays the Fajr prayer, then he is in the protection of Allah. This is a great promise from Allah subhanahu wa taala that He will protect the one who preserves the prayer, the Fajr prayer, and one who prays the Fajr prayer, that he is in the protection of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Imagine if someone who's powerful, someone who's strong and powerful and has a status he tells you that you are in his protection how do you feel would you be afraid wouldn't you feel safe wouldn't you feel comfortable and happy that you are in the protection of so and so someone who has strength and power and to allah is the best of examples imagine that you are in the protection of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty the most strong the most the almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how would you, how should you feel if you are in his protection, preserve the limits of Allah and Allah will preserve you. Preserve the limits of Allah and you will find him on your side. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned to us and he told us that from the fruits of preserving the prayers is seeing the face of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned in the meaning of the hadith that indeed you will see your Lord in a pleasurable way, in an honorable way, on the day of judgment, that you will see your Lord on the day of judgment, like you can see the moon. You don't need to gather to be able to see the moon. On a night that is clear night with a full moon. And then the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned, what is the means? What is the way? To see the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to look at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, in the, he said in the continuation of the meaning of this hadith, so if you are not, if you are able to not be de deprived from a prayer before the sun rises and a prayer before the sun sets, then do not be deprived of them. This shows us, this is the Fajr prayer. And likewise the Asr prayer. And this shows us, that one could be deprived and one could be pro prohibited from being able to pray those prayers because, there are, because of the difficulty. One sleep, one sleep, one, 
wants to sleep and get some rest. And so he might become heedless from the prayer. And therefore, one must struggle. And one must twerk and strive to, be, to wake up, to pray, to pray the Fajr prayer. For this reason, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with saying what means and command your family with the prayer and preserve and, and remain patient upon it. It requires patience. It requires patience because of sleep, because of difficulty, because of the hardship. It requires patience that one remains patient upon preserving his prayer and upon praying the prayers on their time. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned to us from that hardship, from that difficulty, that when one sleeps, that the shaitan ties knots over his head, three knots. And if he gets up and mentions Allah, then one of the knots is removed. And when he performs wudu, the second knot is removed. And when he prays, the third, the third knot is removed. And he will be energetic and happy and in a good spirit for the rest of his day. And if one does not wake up, does not make wudu, does not pray, then the knots remain upon him and he will be, he will be lazy and in a, bad, in a bad mood for his entire day. Waking up for fashion is from the signs of your success and happiness. Preserving the prayers is from the signs of your happiness and your success in this life and the hereafter. Preserving the prayers. This is your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you preserve the prayers and you pray the prayers on their time, then you keep your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are negligent of the prayers, then you have no connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will have nothing you will not be able to talk, to speak, and to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for your prayer is your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us about the importance of the prayers and the Fajr prayer and many ahadith. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned that whomsoever prays Isha prayer in congregation, then it is as if he continued, he was praying the half of the night. And if he prays special prayer in congregation, then it is as if he has prayed the other half of the night. So he would have prayed the entire night by praying those two prayers in, in congregation. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he told us in many ahadith, we find many ahadith, and likewise we find many ayat in the Quran regarding the importance of the prayers, and preserve, preserving the prayers. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, commanded us and he told us about the danger of neglecting the prayer. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said in the meaning of the hadith that when he, that he saw a man whom an angel would take a, a large rock and would smash his head with it. And then he would go down to, to get that rock to repeat this tor torment and this punishment upon him. And by, by the time he comes back, his head would have been back to the way it was. And he would continue to do that. And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he asked, who is this? Why is he punished? Why is he being punished like this? And the Messenger, and he was informed that this is a man whom Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala gave him the Quran, but he was negligent of the prayer. He was negligent of his prayers. He did not pray the prayers and did not preserve the prayers and pray the prayers in their time and in the proper way. The prayer is the most important action that one acts upon. The most important act of worship. It is so important that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa on a night journey from the Masjid al-Haram, the sacred house in Mecca, to the Masjid al-Aqsa. And then he, take, he took him and made him ascend to the heavens to legislate the prayer for him, to legislate the prayer upon us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala legislated for us those five daily prayers. And they count for us like 50 prayers from the bounty and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us. We pray five daily prayers and they count as if we are praying 50 prayers. This is without a doubt from the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is upon us to preserve them 
it is upon us to preserve them and not be negligent of them, but rather to preserve them and to command our families, to command, to command our mind, our families and our children of the importance of the prayers and to be from those who pray the prayers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala legislated for us. We hear the call of the prayer. We hear, come, hayya ala al falah come to the success. Come to the success. Our prayer is our success. This is our success in this life and the hereafter. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make all of us from those who pray the, the, the prayers and their time and to preserve from those who preserve their prayers. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi